Hey everyone, Mr. Kazi here, and I'm here to talk to you today about scientific notation. Now, we're not going to go real deep into scientific notation, but we need to know enough scientific notation to manipulate it, to set our things in um, our calculations in perfect or proper scientific notation. And we also need to be able to manipulate enough to put it in our calculators and plug and chug. Um, this is not your math class, so I'm interested in just getting into our calculators and plugging and chugging. So, let's learn about scientific notation. Scientific notation allows us to make numbers uh, easier to work with and easier to write. And it does that by helping us make long numbers shorter. So if we have a number with a lot of zeros in front or a lot of zeros behind or numbers that aren't significant, we can shorten it and make it easier to write. Now we don't change the value, we just shorten it by writing it in uh, a way that uses the powers of 10. So let's look at some examples. An example would be this very long number and we could write it as 6.022 times 10 to the 15. Or we could look at this very small number with a lot of zeros in front of it and we could write it as 1.23 times 10 to the negative 8, making the numbers very easy to use. So, but what happened? If you notice what happened, the decimal was moved either left or right, and that's what it's all about, left or right. We have a goal, and that is to get it in proper scientific notation, and we do that by moving the decimal left or right. Well, exactly what is proper not uh, scientific notation? Well, here's some rules that we can go over to see what is proper scientific notation. Proper scientific notation has only one leading significant digit. And here's a couple of examples. And that's our goal. It's to get one leading significant digit. We move the decimal either left or right to get our one leading significant digit, which you see in red there on the screen. Rule number one, move the decimal left or right to get one leading digit. I know you may be thinking, well, you've said that several times. Of course I've said it several times. It's very important. You need to get that idea. That's the goal in our scientific notation, to get it right. And then we just look at it and we can drop all of the um, zeros that aren't significant. So here's another rule. If you move to the right, then you subtract the number of times that you moved it from the power of 10. And we have an example. Notice we moved it 8 times to the right, so we subtract. 0 minus 8 is negative 8. And now you might say, where did the 0 come from? Well, any number, if it doesn't have a times 10 to some power, we assume then that it is in the uh, 10 to the 0. And remember, anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's just like multiplying it by, by 1. And matter of fact, that's something that you can use uh, in mathematics as well as science. Anything to the 0 power is uh, 1. Let's continue. 1.23 uh, times 10 to the negative 8 is our answer. So take a look at that. Notice how we moved it. We subtracted, and we've got our uh, power of 10. Here's another one. So we moved it two times to the right, we subtract. Three minus two is one. Notice this time we have a power of 10. And three minus two, the two times we moved it to the right. And it's 1.12 times 10 to the one. It makes the number a little easier to write. Now, writing this number, 0 0.0112, to the power of 10 or in um, scientific notation isn't necessarily needed. But it's just an example. The real power in scientific notation is when we take those numbers with a lot of zeros and we can make it a, a shorter number. Okay. If you move to the left, add the number of times to the power of 10. Our example here, so we have a number here with a lot of zeros and only four significant digits. So let's uh, write, make it in a little bit better form. We moved it to the left nine times, so we add, and zero plus nine equals nine. 6.022 times 10 to the nine. Very cool. 
Another example. We moved it three times to the left, so we add. 2 plus 3 equals 5. And so now we have 1.000 times 10 to the 5. Now we wrote this one in scientific notation. And that's all good and well, but notice that we couldn't drop the zeros. And the reason we couldn't drop the zeros in this one is it's uh, they're significant. Notice the number at the top. That decimal point is written in there, and that makes all those zeros significant. And you can't get rid of significant uh, zeros. They tell us something about the data. And if you need a refresher on that, you uh, want to go back and, and look at the video on uh, significant figures because that's that's important idea there on our data. Practice time. Let's look at some practice problems. Proper scientific notation. We move the decimal and we get 4.3 times 10 to the 7. 8,000. Notice here there's no decimal so those zeros are not significant. And so it's 8 times 10 to the 3, and it makes that number a lot easier to write. Oh, a very small number, but we want to make it in a form to write a lot easier. So let's move the decimal to the right. 3.245 times 10 to the negative 5. We moved it 5 times. Remember, the goal was to get one leading significant digit, and that's what we did. Quiz! you got three little problems here. Uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, do those. You can uh, pause the video right now if you need to, and then start it up again and look at the answers. Well, how did you do? Hope you did pretty good. And if you didn't or if you missed any of this, go back, watch the video again, or even if you need to, go back and watch the video on uh, significant figures. But you should be able to put uh, these into your calculator. And, uh, you know, you want to go and look at the calculator video also if you're having troubles with your calculator. If you have any questions, go to mrkazi.com or send me an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. That's M-R-C-A-U-S-E-Y at M-R-C-A-U-S-E-Y dot com. I hope you have a good day and happy ions.